Hey there, are you going through a midlife crisis? Are you coming up on midlife? Been through midlife? Or maybe you're older, maybe you're younger, it doesn't really matter. If you're stuck in a rut, what are you going to do? The answer to that is simple. You should join a band. Now you may be saying, oh, I don't play an instrument, or I don't have any talent. Well, it doesn't really matter. Everybody's got to start somewhere. So if you join a band, you're developing a skill. Hopefully you already play an instrument, but if not, that's all right too. There's, there are lots of people who want to get together to improve together. They're, they're beginners. Everybody's a beginner. We're all, we all start somewhere. Even the Beatles. Don't get caught up in social media where we see all these amazing musicians ripping out some crazy tunes, just absolute crazy good stuff. Almost all of the time, they've done many, 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 many takes to get that just perfect. So don't compare yourself to the, the super elite players. Focus on your day-to-day -day improvement, which you can do in a band. So what are the advantages of being in a band versus anything else? Well, you could buy a sports car. The stereotypical mid-age crisis, buy something fancy, flashy, etc. You know, it's going to cost you 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars. You join a band, you can get started very cheap under a thousand dollars if you want to have something that's going to make you stand out in in a full band you're, you're probably looking at something closer to 1500 to 2000 being in a band is a skill in itself it's very different playing and practicing your instrument at home alone versus being in a band in a group setting. There are a lot of distractions. If you're a bass player for, like me, trying to focus on the bass drum and then our lead guitar player is ripping some crazy solo and it's really easy to get distracted. So it's a skill to be able to keep your place, keep your groove going while all these other things are going on around you and maybe the crowd or maybe the crazy solo from your lead guitar player, like I just mentioned. So being in a band versus another hobby may actually be cheaper. If you're playing hockey or golf or whatever you're doing, you know, there's there's a cost to that. So being in a band, you could treat it as a beer league, and, and some people do, and that's great. In our, in our case, we usually get a free beer or two, sometimes a meal, and some cash to go into our pockets. And we didn't spend a whole lot of money other than other than our time and gas, but you'd be spending that and more if you're going out with your friends to do the same kind of thing anyways. So why not go out and have, play some music and have some fun while you're at it. So if you're going through a midlife crisis or you're getting close to middle age, or maybe you're not, you're just checking out videos about joining a band, then by all means, still join a band. It's lots of fun. It's a great way to spend your time, you're improving, you're meet, be, meeting people. This is the first video we're doing about life in a band and some of the different challenges, the adventures, these kind of things. All of us in the band have day jobs and other things going on, so it's not a full-time gig for us. However, it's a full-time passion for us. So please comment below if there's something you'd like to see in future videos, if you have questions about what it's like to be in a band, or if you have questions about the local music scene, how to make connections with other bands, how to make connections with venues, some of the pros and cons to playing originals or covers, these kind of things. Please comment below and we'll try to get a video made of that. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. So until next time, keep on rocking. This is Luke from Midnight Mayday, signing off. I never go